Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget, I'm a family nurse practitioner, and I make videos on nursing, mental health, health and wellness. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. In today's video, I will be covering common symptom translations from English to Spanish. So what does that mean, right? A lot of times, especially at, I live in Florida, we have a lot of Spanish speakers that their primary language is Spanish. And as a healthcare professional, it's important to be able to communicate with them. And of course, I um, always recommend that you use an interpreter if, you, if your patient does not speak English. But here are a few words that you may wanna learn or pick up. All right, so let's get started. So these are common symptom translations, English to Spanish. I did my best. Um, most of these translations were done by a certified medical interpreter. Like I said, if you ever have to speak to your patient for a long amount of time, I would recommend always getting an interpreter. But this is to get you on the road if you're interested in learning some words in Spanish. So how do you say anxiety in Spanish? It's ansiedad. Ansiedad. Bleeding is sangrando. Sangrando. Keep in mind also that depending on where people are from, Colombians speak a different. Uh, my, I'm Colombian. Um, we all have different ways of saying things. So if your patient is from Mexico, they may speak a little. They may speak and sound differently than someone who's from Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic. So that's why I tried to use the words that are um, that were done by a certified medical interpreter. Bruises, moretones. And so this banana is bruised. Moretones. Moretones. Burning feeling when you urinate is sensación de ardor al orinar. Sensación de ardor al orinar. So Spanish, to be completely honest with you, is a lot easier to learn than English. Why is it easier to learn than English? Because Everything is pronounced the way it is written. So there are, like in English, has a lot of funky rules. So sensación, right? Like you just read it. And if you know what sound each letter and vowel makes, then you can read in Spanish. Sensación, this means an emphasis on the O. De ardor al orinar. Chills is escalofríos or escalofrío. In Colombia, we normally say escalofrío. Tengo escalofrío. I have chills. Constipation is estreñimiento. So this little uh, ñ here, this little sign here, means it's pronounced, the N is ñ, ñ, like uña. Um, so that's the sound it makes. Anytime you see this symbol here, ñ. Estreñimiento. It's cough is tos. Tos. Sounds like dos. Cough is tos. Diarrhea, that's fairly easy and fairly similar. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. You gotta, when you see these two R's, you gotta roll them. <laughs> Diarrhea. Dizziness is mareos. Mareos. Drainage or pus is supuración or pus. Supuración or pus. Fast heartbeat is latidos cardíacos rápidos. Latidos cardíacos rápidos. Fever is fiebre. Fiebre. Fever is fiebre. Headache is dolor de cabeza. Dolor de cabeza. Heartburn is acidez. Acidez. Inflammation is inflamación inflamación. Insomnia slash sleeplessness, we have insomnio. So in Spanish, the I is pronounced like E, E, insomnio. And you see everything is just spit. I taught myself how to read Spanish because it's so easy to learn. Insomnio, falta de sueño. There we have that symbol again. It's that Inya sound, sueño. Falta de sueño is sleeplessness, not being able to sleep enough. Jaundice slash yellow skin is ictericia, piel amarilla. 
ictericia for jaundice, piel amarilla. Now, in Colombia, two L's make the J sound, J, J, J. Um, a lot of times, Puerto Ricans will say, like, amarilla, um, but we pronounce it amarilla. Labor pains is dolores de parto. Dolores de parto. Loss of appetite is pérdida de apetito. Pérdida de apetito. Na nausea is nausea. Nausea. Like now? Nausea. Upset stomach is malestar. Malestar estomacal. Malestar estomacal. Not able to urinate is no es capaz de orinar. No es capaz de orinar. Orinar. It sounds just how it's spelled. That's why I love Spanish. It's so easy to learn how to read it. Numbness is entumecimiento. 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 Uncontrolled pain. You're going to see a lot of people that come with pain. So you need to be able to say dolor, right? Dolor means pain. Uncontrolled pain is dolor incontrolable. Dolor incontrolable. So pain is dolor. Uncontrolled is incontrolable. Dolor incontrolable. Pain in chest is dolor en el pecho. Dolor en el pecho. Dolor is pain. En el is in the chest. Dolor en el pecho. Redness is enrojecimiento. Enrojecimiento. In Spanish, the J is a ha, like ha, 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 ha. It's almost an H sound. So when you see a J, you say ha or whatever follows next. For example, my dad's name in Spanish is Jaime. It's spelled J-A-I-M-E. So when you see a J in Spanish, it's actually pronounced like an H sound. Enroje, enrojecimiento. Enrojecimiento. Seizure is convulsión. Convulsión. Short of breath is falta de aire. Falta de aire. Skin rash is erupción. Erupción cutánea. Erupción cutánea. Sweats is sudoración. Sudoración. In Colombia, we say sudando, right? I'm sweating. Estoy sudando or estoy sudado. It depends on the tense. Um, sudoración means the sweats, though. I have rarely ever used this, though. Sudoración. I, I usually will say, like, sudando. Estoy sudando is usually the one I will use. But again, I try to use the one that is the words that are used by a certified medical interpreter. Swelling or swelling in the legs. So swelling is hinchazón. Hinchazón. And then swelling in the legs is hinchazón en las piernas. Hinchazón en las piernas. When you see this accent mark facing this way, that means that you're putting emphasis on that vowel. Hinchazón, o o, hinchazón en las piernas. And you see these people have edema. Tenderness is sensibilidad. 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 There's no accent here, so we're not emphasizing a certain one more than the other. Tenderness, sensibilidad. Tingling is hormigueo. Hormigueo. Vomiting is vomitos. Or in Colombia, we say vomitando. Like that's the act of actually vomiting is vomitando. But according to the certified medical interpreter, it's vomitos. So again, depending on where you're from, people may say vomitando, I'm vomiting, or vomitos. Vaginal bleeding, vaginal discharge. So vaginal bleeding is sangrado vaginal. Sangrado vaginal. And vaginal discharge is secreción vaginal. Secreción vaginal. Weakness is debilidad. Debilidad. So hopefully you learned some new terminology in Spanish today. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching. If there's a topic that you want me to cover, then make sure you drop a comment below. Mm -hmm.